Previously on Nerd's blog, you saw me review this profit margin scenario calculator, which shows you how to take your product list, whether it's in QuickBooks and you wanted to export it and drop it in here, which I did in the sample, or if you want to just build a product list for the purpose of planning a certain order, this template gives you the ability to do it quickly and easily, and it gives you the ability to do the analysis on every different aspect of your product line from the Let's take a look from the uh, quantity, cost per unit, and selling price to the gross profit in terms of dollars or in terms of percentage. You can look at this and change any aspect of the pricing on your products in order to get at what your final uh, selling price is. And if you're planning a specific order, what the final quantity can be in order to make something meet a client's budget or what have you. So now what I wanted to do is show you how I use this in a way to very quickly update somebody's pricing in QuickBooks. Let's say a client comes to me. Let's say you come to me and say, you know what, Seth, I would like my standard gross profit margin on all of my products to be 55%. Then I'd say, okay, great, give me your QuickBooks file. I'll export your product list just like I did in yesterday's screencast. Drop it in here. And then all I need to do is come over here to Scenario 4. I go to my gross profit margin, and I'm going to highlight the whole range. The way I do that is I start with the first cell in the range that I want to highlight, and I can scroll all the way down using my mouse wheel. And I hold down my shift key while I click on the last one in the range. And what that does is it tells Excel, I want you to select everything in between and including what I started with and what I'm clicking on now. So you can see the entire range is now highlighted. And then if I want to, I can type a 55. I'm already formatted for percentage. And now by holding down the control key before I hit enter, it tells Excel to apply this change to the entire range. So it's going to tell Excel to make the entire range equal 55%. And sure enough, that's what it does. And a 55% gross profit margin equals a markup of 122.22%. Now that I've got this, you'll see, if you're paying attention, that my total selling price has updated. So just to show you, focus on the selling price. If I click Reset Margin here, that takes it back to the original. Notice my selling price. This doesn't change because this one's already at 55%. But I've got 20, 150, 50, and so on. Let's highlight the whole entire range. 55%, and now you can see my price has changed. Most of them will go up. Now I'm ready to take this and put it into Excel, or in QuickBooks rather. So let's go over to QuickBooks, then we're going to come over to Lists, and we're going to add, edit multiple list entries. This is where QuickBooks enables you to access an entire list at once, whether it's your customer list or your item list, and make changes across the board. And once you've done, once you've finished making your changes, you can click Save Changes, so it'll do it all at once. So we're going to come over here, we're going to do Inventory Parts. Now the key difference here versus what I did yesterday is that in yesterday's webcast I included the assembly items. You can't do that here unfortunately because there's just no choice to show the assembly items. It will only show me inventory parts on this. And it makes sense because the assembly items are tied directly into the inventory parts. So it would be very difficult to affect a change on an assembly item when that change would also theoretically affect something else in this list at the same time just adds certain levels of complexity. So we just do it for inventory parts. You'll have to filter your list before exporting and copying it into the template to just look at inventory parts. But now here's my sales price for every single item down the list. And I can come back over to Excel here and I'm ready to copy and paste my selling price in with one little caveat, which is that QuickBooks won't accept the dollar signs and it won't accept the commas. So I'm going to copy this range and just very quickly control N for a new spreadsheet and I'm going to paste my values. And just to be sure, what I want to do is initially I can, well let's just hit a control 1, control the number 1, gives me my cell format dialog. I want to format these for a number with two decimal places is fine and no comma separator. And I click OK and that way it brings me down to two decimal places. This way I'm sure that I've got a nice clean format to go into QuickBooks with. Alt-Tab takes me back over to QuickBooks. I've already got my sales price selected. Control-V to paste. And notice it instantly updated. Now, I'm not done yet. I have to hit Save Changes. And QuickBooks is going to let me know it's got 46 inventory item records have been saved. I click OK. And then it's going to warn me that I'm changing the standard price for an item. So I have to click OK 46 times. It's letting me know that in case I have any custom prices, 
I may want to update those as well. So I have to keep clicking OK. Unfortunately, there's no way to say do this for all of them. But you can tap on that mouse key pretty quickly and get through the list. And now I'm done. And I can click Save Changes. And actually, I can click Close. And that's it. So now my item list has just been permanently updated with those selling price changes. If I go into my item list, just to prove it, here are my inventory parts. We've got a lot of columns in here. Here's where my inventory parts, and here it is. There's the dollar, the 22.22, the 166.67, 55.66, the dollar 11, 388.89. Let's go back over to Excel, and sure enough, here are the same numbers. So this way I've confirmed that we have, in fact, successfully made the update we were hoping to make. So that's how in really 30 seconds or less, I took it a little slow because I was explaining it, but really in 30 seconds or less, you can do a sweeping change like that on your product list very quickly and easily. And what's really cool about this is, let's say I just did it and I decided, you know what, that was a mistake. I didn't want to do that. Fine. Hit reset margin over here. My margins go back to what they were. Go back to my total selling unit price. <clears throat> Copy the range, control tab back over to this. Let's paste my values. The format already comes in. Control C to copy. Let's go back to QuickBooks, close all, lists, add edit multiple list entries. Inventory parts, sales price, and control V to paste. Paste my original prices right back in, save changes, 46 records, 46 times I gotta click OK. Let's just do this real quick. And that is how you can very quickly do a sweeping change on your price. As always, if you have any questions, email me, Seth at nerdenterprises.com. I hope you're having an absolute fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.